My husband and I were passionate that things had to change from the way that we were seeing them. The lens that we were looking through, looking at people living in an urban environment, not knowing where their food came from, even thinking about where their food came from, and certainly not about how it was being grown. And we decided we wanted to try to make a go of growing our own. So we studied how to create the soil that was as healthy as possible so that the food that we could put in our own bodies, our family's bodies, our community's bodies would be sustainable. My name is Barb Pearson. I am the owner and farmer at Sage and Solace Farm. This is a sustainable farm uh, where we are using growing practices that try to enhance the earth rather than deplete it. And that's been our mission right from the moment we got here. Uh, we have been producing birds, uh, heritage birds, and we also are focusing on flowers and gardens and now our main focus is inviting people here to gather and uh, teaching them about sustainable farming. We have been working very hard at improving our soil quality. My assistant and I attended the Farm Folk City Folk Cover Cropping Field Day. It was fabulous to be able to meet all kinds of other farmers who are trying to do the same thing as we are. So we did some fabulous networking. Uh, since then, I've already been getting together with some of those people, which has been a real joy and also uh, helped us realize that there's other people doing this out there and that is encouraging. We are cover cropping two gardens at present. One is our vegetable garden and the other is our big cut flower garden over here. We also do grow some vegetables in there and we do some companion planting as well. But the two cover crop mixes that we're using uh, were provided to us from Spec. And what we do with that is put an oat and legume mixture over on the vegetable garden and we put a rye and legume mix on this garden. I learned that it's important to do field trials. So one of the reasons why we're trying the two different cover crop mixes is because of what we learned at that field day. So we're going to be doing some experimentation to see which is going to do better on our particular soil. We also learned that there's a whole pile of factors that go into cover cropping and not to get too discouraged. <laughs> so it was enlightening to see people that have been doing this for years and years try to puzzle through what the environmental factors are that create the differences in these crops and realize that you just need to keep trying.